Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Megan furious as Camilla tells reporters what royal family really thinks of her. It's been less than a week since the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex tied the knot at St George's Chapel in front of a congregation of 600 guests, but already there is more drama. Meghan Markle is now furious with her stepmother, Camilla, who spilled the beans entirely, telling reporters what the royal family really thinks of the new addition to their ranks. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall spoke with Five News in London on Wednesday after having had a few days to recover from the royal wedding last weekend. She described Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's nuptials as uplifting, but she admitted that even the royal family hadn't been sure what would happen next. Of course, Camilla was referencing the chaotic lead-up to the wedding in which the bride-to-be's father, Thomas Markle, who lives in a dilapidated shack in Mexico, abruptly backed out of walking his daughter down the aisle, citing health concerns. Meghan's dad, Thomas Markle was set to walk his daughter down the aisle, but in the days leading up to the ceremony he made headlines after admitting he had staged paparazzi photos and didn't want to embarrass his daughter or the royal family any further. What followed was several days of back and forth as Thomas, who lives in Mexico, initially walked back his decision not to attend and then ultimately announced that his health would keep him from traveling to the UK, source, people. As if that wasn't bad enough, Meghan's siblings brought their own drama to the table with a plea for Prince Harry to dump their sister. As if that weren't enough drama, Markle's half-siblings, Thomas Jr. and Samantha, took every opportunity they could get to smear the former Suits star. Thomas Jr. penned a handwritten note to Price Harry claiming his sister would make a joke of you and the royal family heritage, while Samantha began chopping around a book titled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. Suddenly, our awkward family dinners on Thanksgiving don't seem so horrible. Source, Refinery29. Yes, it's safe to say that Camilla and the rest of the royal family were preparing themselves for the worst as Harry and Meghan's wedding neared, so when it didn't turn out to be a complete disaster, everyone was pleasantly surprised. It was such a lovely day. Just everything went right. We all wondered whatever would happen next and then everything went right," Camilla told Five News reporters. She did get one dig in at Meghan, however, noting that it was nice to have something that is uplifting after all of that depressing drama beforehand. It's nice to have something that is uplifting rather than depressing. Everything was just perfect, including the weather, which couldn't have been better. It was a beautiful day," said Camilla. The only thing is that we are all losing our voices now. It's really a testament to all of the people who worked behind the scenes to make this wedding happen that it went off without a hitch, even when huge decisions like who would walk the bride down the aisle were made in the eleventh hour. Luckily for Meghan, even though her own family didn't come through, Prince Charles stepped up to do the honors. Apparently, Prince Harry hasn't heard the old adage that when you marry someone, you marry their family. Either that, or he was so smitten with Meghan that he was willing to put aside the fact that her siblings and parents are scandalous. It is unlikely that this will be as easy to overlook once the honeymoon stage is over, though. Once the smoke clears, Prince Harry will be left with the reality that he married a girl without the breeding the royal family is accustomed to. An estranged dad and money-hungry siblings would be enough to cause rifts between any average couple, but Meghan and Harry are one of the most famous couples in the world. Furthermore, Harry is not accustomed to the kind of drama his new wife's family seems to thrive off of. This is exactly why many people worried that the union was doomed from the start. Meghan simply isn't royal material. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.